Now we're officially starting season four. The actual story will begin because episode zero pretty much told me none of the stuff in season three at the end kind of mattered. Now the booby song mattered, right? That was actually important because that was critical into solving the Juggernaut Drive problem. You know, it actually makes a lot more sense to resolve the Issei situation with like a funny, goofy, horny moment like that, right? It was a little bit too melodramatic at the end of season three for me. Now, what are we going to do? Let's figure out today's reaction. Oh, 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 oh you're going on. The episode just started. Yeah. What? What do you want? <laughs> Kyoto? What are we doing there? <laughs> what? Oh, you're gonna be so lonely? <laughs> Boing! Issei reserves? His manliness? <laughs> this subtitle, okay? This dialogue is insane. <laughs> this dialogue is insane, dude. <laughs> No, no, they're all the same age, okay? But you could interpret that in such a wrong way. Oh. And busted. Yo, Rias, sorry. Akino has DSLs in this new season 4 animation. Her lips are thick. Rias with towel on her head looks so different. What do you mean? She's been doing that gawk gawk since like season 2 in like fucking the gym. Where did Konako come from? Several. What can you do to treat us? What? Yeah, even Konako? Asha, everybody's here. Alright, where's Zenobia? Zenobia's next. Boing, 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 boing. Yo, Asha's got like a BBL in this season 4. Their asses are so much bigger. He's my <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> no Zenobia? Oh my god. Titties right to the face. Boing. Koneko does a treatment for us? Did I miss something? I thought it's only I thought it's only Akino that does the gog gog. What kind of treatment does Koneko give? Okay, what 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 is the treatment? Because Akino does the gog. Oh, why are you taking that off? <laughs> I cannot give you the outfit! <laughs> the cat tail! Cat ears are out too. There they are. Where do they hide? Where are the cat? She looks blonde in season four, huh? Well, right now it does. It's the lighting. So she just sits on his lap? That's it? <laughs> what is the what technique? <laughs> I don't understand! Her just being on the Issei like the streets him? Oh yeah, who's there? How does Rias always know? She always interrupts one-on-one -on -one moments with other girls. Underworld. Oh, Irina? Rosewise? This is the dad, right? The actual dad. Valkyrie, Devil, Alliance? I mean, it already, it already has an alliance. The dad is so chill and is down for anything. And the mom is the most voluptuous. Absolutely. <laughs> what else do you want, lady? You want more pickles? <laughs> oh my god. They're actually so huge. It's, it's insanely huge. Focus, focus, focus. New Sersex. Hmm. His outfit isn't as audacious. Because, you know, in the original season, his popped collars, bro. It's like a fucking football shoulder pad. Side org, that's what he looks like. So the person we saw last episode, you know, that was clearly not him. The hero faction, complete different. Side org looks way more jacked here. Look, look at his stance. Rating games. Who, who? Side org versus Remory. So season four is gonna be just like an epic duel against Side org. I can take that. I mean, he is the rank one young devil, right? Oh, sparring already? Let's go. Let's go right now. The number one. And like, his entire thing is pure taijutsu, right? He just does martial arts only? Damn, he's so jacked. What? What is that? I've never heard that one before. One, two, three? Okay, that's gotta be one of the best transformations of- Okay. That season 4 transformation is the best one we've seen, right? <laughs> All he's doing is turning around, come on. It does look fast. He took it? 
I feel like he took it intentionally. He is such a man. He just wants just straight confrontation. Hi, hi. Blocked it. Still blows him away, though. He is rank one. Dude, damage the armor. Just pure fist. That's it. I don't know we could regenerate that either. Does he have name techniques or does he just punch? Oh my god. Dude, that's from the impact of it just missing. Did you see that? What? Stop. Stop. No. This guy's insane. Look at the sheer force! That's just wind pressure! Mm. Deodora not even say Deodora is so trash, dude! Power type. So he just always surpassing his limits? What do you mean? Like him existing, he just always surpasses his limits? Huh. Just pure training, nothing else. Like, he doesn't rely on magic, none of that shit. He doesn't need a weapon, just pure taijutsu. He took one trick pony so, like, so seriously. Dude, he's such a giga chad. We have, like, one of, like, the sacred gears, like, a long as weapon. All these different powers. We're about to fucking use all these different, you know, pieces we have, evil pieces. On top of that, we have, like, you know, Drake and all the different powers. We got Divide, Juggernaut Drive. He just punches. That's it. Oh, oh. Get one good one on. Okay, that looks like it did damage. He's still not moving though. Look! He just takes it! Look! He's fighting back with his face! Well, yeah, I guess you did. Can you? Um, well, he hasn't boosted more. He hasn't. Wait, chill. This is just a spar. That was his best punch? I mean, we did have the Rook's defense, but that was his best punch ever? But Drag was saying he keeps surpassing his limits. What if he's also just always, like, boosting? No, you're just so strong. You say so humble. We had Mjolnir, you know, and it helped. And Azazel was also helping fight the old Satans, you know? Sidearg is so cool though, he respects Issei. Juggernaut Drive. He's so based. Wait, this theme is a remix from one of the soundtracks from Season 1. Okay, chill, you don't need to cut his arms off. What would happen if we dress broke him? Oh, 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 Akeno, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, oh my god. It's even more in season four, dude. It's so huge. That is one of the coolest things. Every time he misses or something, impact just like carries through. Did he want someone to beat him? Okay, we're actually boosting. He just punches the laser beams! Oh, that's why he could just do that. Magic base that's low. Tank it. Asha Stones! Oh, come on! What the f- uh Oh. Actually, good point. Good point, good point, actually. Ashi brings him a very good point. He could go for a better better hit there. 
Yes, he is. The legendary booby dragon. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. I thought only Rias could do it. Everyone can do it? We can't really do it to Konako, though. Or Gasper, huh? This is so embarrassing, but, like, at the same time... Cyborg, relax. It's not... It is like that. I'm not explaining it. We can't explain this shit. We, we, we ain't beating the allegations. Yeah. No, it's true. It's true. <laughs> no, don't look at me like that, Cyborg. In front of everybody? All right, let's go do it. All right, let's go do it. Honk! In front of your cousin? I mean, we're beyond, you know, blood-related relations now. Mm. Mm. Wait, you're so far. Come over here. Yes, Rose White. We are just savages. And Cersex, this is the brother. You care about the cousin when Cersex is looking? But then again, Cersex likes this. Yeah. <laughs> save it for next time the raiding war we gotta save that for that yeah i think cyborg has bigger titties than konako he's so much more jacked in season four look at that design the shoulders are so broad the pectorals are insane they're just rippling all right we're already doing fist bumps with them too you know we do this with Vali. look at this guy he's a hulk so cool. Like, how can you hate this guy, right? As a character, he's so nice. He's so righteous. This dude doesn't care about magic. He just uses his bare fist. He straight up says, I just believed in my abilities. Just pure physical abilities when everyone else is using crazy magic. Insane. And he's humble. And he wants someone to beat him. He's like, he wants to be defeated. Insane. Yeah, brutally honest and straightforward. Yes. Just a Giga Chad. We just gotta brute force him too. Yeah, you dare to fondle my sister's titties in front of me. Really? You can intimidate them to the point he can't even use magic? Next time. When's next time? Probably the end of season four, right? We're gonna save this till the end, right? Hello? We can. Kid is bring up a very good point. We gotta say Rias, not Bucho, man. But she hates it. But she hates Bucho, right? She wants Rias. There it is. That's what it should be. Cyborg versus Issei immediately to start off the season. Why? Because they want to tease us. Because like at the end of season four, I'm sure that's when the actual raiding war, you know, uh, the raiding game arc is gonna be. Right? They can't show us everything immediately, but they want to like tease us to like, hey, you know, this is gonna happen. Cyborg is a beast. He's insane. We're not going to show him all of it yet. We're just going to tease you just a bit. That fight was so cool. He's still, again, just a man's man. Straightforward, brutally honest, just does things with his fist, nothing else. He doesn't need magic. He just trains himself. How does he do it? I don't know. He's just a giga chat. Insane. Now, what are we doing from here? Going to go to Kyoto. Maybe it's going to be a boring arc. I don't really know, but we'll have to see. But hey, you're still here. If you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.